miss this party. Seriously, it's going to be top notch. The makeup artist will be in the hotel to take care of us. And then we are going for shopping for costume clothes tomorrow. I know you would want to come. We would be going on a three days trip where we will party. So I don't want a situation where you would miss it and then you begin to seek for information from us. Why would I want to miss that? <laughs> you know I'm a social bee. I like to party. <laughs> I'm gonna be there. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money. That's why I asked you. But this is the party where all club members would meet each other. If you don't attend, you may be kicked out of the club. Yeah, no, I don't want that too. You know what? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll get the money. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to tell you. I have other members to call. Alright, I'll call you later. Thank you. Alright, that's fine. I'll talk to you later, okay? That must be my husband. wife and you're telling me not to worry about it. I don't want to stress you. Don't worry about me, okay? I'll be fine. Babe, what is it? <laughs> Mom, I'm so sorry. You took care of me at your own age. I'm supposed to take care of I'm so sorry, Mommy. Honey, what is the problem? <laughs> Talk to me, come on. I'll be fine. Babe, what is it? I'm supposed to take care of her. She took care of me till her own age. I'm supposed to take care of her. Babe. I'm supposed to take care of her. As you can see, I'm lost. What is the problem? Just tell me. <laughs> Dr. Cold. Dr. Cold. And he said that. Mommy is not feeling too well. He said, he said that she had a growth in her liver and she needs to be operated on. But I'm scared. I'm so scared. Hey, re relax, relax. She has a growth in her liver. What? Is there, is there anything like that? Well, yes. Apparently, there is. I think it's a new disease or something. I, I can't even remember the name he pronounced it as, but... Babe, okay. How much is it? I said, how much is it? I told the doctor to leave her there, because if I should pay the amount of money, how do we survive? Babe, I keep asking you over and over again. Just tell me, how much is it? Babe, 
babe. Okay. It's fifteen thousand dollars. What? Fifteen thousand dollars? That's why I told you not to worry. Is the sickness that serious? Don't worry about it. Babe, 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 babe. I'll handle it, okay? <laughs> babe, I said I will handle it. Stop crying. Babe, are you serious? Because this is my mom we're talking about here. Babe. I don't, I don't know that. She's also my mother-in-law. I won't let anything happen to her. I I'll handle it. Baby, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I will just speak to my friends who loan me some money. Don't worry, I will handle it. Okay? Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> Babe, come on. Stop crying, okay? So, when do you think you'll be getting the money? Babe, let's say tomorrow or a day after tomorrow. I promise you I will handle it, okay? All right. You should stop crying, babe. <laughs> Elisa, I'm done. Babe. Elisa, I'm done. Stop crying. No, we should be fine. That's all I'm talking All right? So you said it's really important to you understand? Yes. Um, I need a loan from you. You need a loan from me? Yes. Um, okay, so about how much do you need? $15,000. Whoa. That was a lot, man. I know, but you see, the thing that is, my mother in law is dying. So she needs the money for operation. She has um, growth in her liver or something like that. Man, I, I, I need this money. Because I, I promise you, I will pay back in time. Okay, I'll. I'll give you, but you need to drop a collateral. You you can use my car. <laughs> Your car is very cheap. Fifteen thousand dollars. You need something bigger, something way more expensive. Okay. Um. I I would I would use my house instead. Come on, man. I I truly need this money. Okay. Uh, I would accept your house. Alright, uh, thanks man. I promise you, I won't fail you. I'll pay back in time. I trust you will, because if you don't, I'll claim ownership of your house and you know that. Uh, what should I offer you? No, I'm fine. You sure? I'm fine. Should I beat it to a game of chess? <laughs> Alright, let's, let's play. So, babe, I, I told him everything and he didn't even give me a reply. So I just... Babe, are you even listening to one thing I've said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can hear you. What is that? Oh, I really am not in the mood. Babe, mom, mom will be so happy. Babe, um, I told you not to worry. So I, I just did this one for mom, and trust me, she'll be fine. Yes, mom will be fine. <laughs> I'm so sure. Trust me. How do you know that? I believe. I, I just believe, babe. Look, we've done our part, right? So we just need to be hopeful that everything will turn out well. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> um, Thank you very much, babe. I need to get something else. Oh, okay, sure. I'll be with you shortly. I love you. <laughs> Mwah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> So, did you see the money I just sent to you? Yes, I saw it, girl. You are the baddest. You're one of the first person to be. And I love that. Well done. <laughs> okay, so, keep my hair 
I want the best makeup artist and my nice clothes, okay? I don't want to hear of any story. Don't worry about that. I got you. Okay. And then I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. <laughs> Leave a problem. My foot. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, babe. That reminds me. I've been trying to reach out to mom to ask of how her surgery went, but I've been finding it hard to get through to her. Don't worry about her, babe. Mom is recovering as the surgery went well. I've been checking up on her. I also told her about the money you sent. She sends her regards. Look, I'm happy she's all right now. Yes. So, speaking of which, what would you like to have for dinner? Babe, you know me. I'll always tell you the same thing. Just make anything out. I'll have it. You never change. All right. Um, I'll just go fix you something, okay? All right, thank you. So, um... Uh... Hey, Mom. I'm glad you called. Um, Sarah just told me how the surgery went, and I'm glad you're okay now. I've been asking after you. Just hold on. I... I think you're talking to the wrong person. Who did an operation? Mom, I... Sarah told me you had growth in your liver and you went for a surgery. What growth in my liver? God forbid. Please, Harold, I don't have any growth in my liver at all. Mom, are you trying to tell me that you didn't get $15,000 from Sarah. I, I mean, for the surgery. Harold, I'm hale and hearty. I just wanted to see how you put that fairy. That's all. Sorry, mom. Are you trying to tell me you didn't receive $15,000 from Sarah? I mean, she, she told me you were dying. No, I didn't receive any money and I'm not dying. Please. All right, mom. I will send your regards to Sarah. Babe, are you going on a trip without me? Or was it that business trip you talked about? The most you've gone on a trip is one week. And this is too much luggage for a week's trip. Babe, what's going on? Sarah, I'm not going for a trip. In fact, you're the one going on a trip. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I, I'm not going on any trip. If I was going on a trip, I would have told you, you know. And besides, what do you know about women's clothing that you had to pack my bags? Trust me, you will need everything for this trip. It's going to be a long trip or it will be a trip of no return. <laughs> Baby, I... I don't quite understand. <laughs> You're speaking in parables. Sarah, do you remember the $15,000 you collected from me to suit your mom's hospital bill? Yes, I remember. You remember? I want you to listen to this. What growth in my liver? God forbid. Please, Harold, I don't have any growth in my liver at all. Um, babe, um, I'm really, really sorry, babe. It was the devil. It was the devil, babe. I don't know what came over me. I... Did you just say it was the devil's work? Babe, I... I need you to trust me. I didn't mean it that way. Did you just say I should trust you? 
See that if we don't have trust, then we have nothing. See that you, you duped me and you expect me to trust you. I'm sorry. Sarah, you need to leave. Harold. Harold, I'm sorry. Sarah, I would say it again. Pack your things and leave. Harold, we can fix this. Harold. Fine. If you don't want to leave, I will leave the house for you. Harold, Harold I can't lose you. I can't. Don't, don't touch me. Hello, Monse family. Trust you enjoyed that lovely video. Do not forget to like, leave a comment, and turn on post notifications so you do not miss out on any of our amazing videos. We appreciate your love and your support so far. Thank you very much. Cheers.